Okay, so the goal of this video is to show you how to set up a deep learning environment for ArcGIS Pro. Alright, so um, there's a couple pages that are really useful resources, and I'll put links to these in the, in the video description uh, below. Um, so the first one here is this GitHub page from Esri, which is deep dot learn or deep dash learning dot dash frameworks and this steps you through the installation process um, re you know, required to, to use it okay so you can see that it relies on a bunch of libraries and packages um, in the Python environment here so we've got PyTorch uh, which comes from Facebook Keras which comes from Google scikit-learn FastAI, which sits on top of PyTorch and makes it easier to use. Um, Scikit image for you know, working with images. And all this sets on top of some very, um, very basic and very useful Python packages like NumPy, for example. Okay, so when, basically to do this installation, you're going to ins you're going to need to in in download your install file, and you can see there's a couple different options here. There's currently no options available for uh, Mac, but we do have options available for uh, for Linux server and then ArcGIS Pro um, on the desktop. Again, ArcGIS Pro really only works in Windows, um, but at least the desktop software, so that's why we only have those Windows options there. Okay, so I have ArcGIS Pro 2.7 installed. So if I click on this, this will um, this will download uh, the installation package as a zip folder. Just show you where that is. So if I'm just going to go into my downloads here, this is that folder. And here's where. I, so this, this is the download. It's roughly two gigs, and then this is what you get when you uncompress it. So if you run this Windows installer package, that will do the installation process for you. And on this machine, it took me roughly uh, five minutes or so to so do the installation. Okay, so what does that actually do um, on your machine? Okay, so what that actually does, and I'm just opening up Pro here, is if you go into your project, or you know, in your project tab, and then on your Python options there, um, it'll list out all the packages that you have available. So prior to build 2.6, um, or Pro 2.6, the installation process for deep learning was effectively to take this um, default environment, make a clone of it, and then use the command line tools to install the required packages into that environment. But with 2.6 and 2.7, they've simplified this process. So effectively what's going on is that installation just installs everything that you need to do the deep learning into the default library. So we can see a lot some uh, libraries here that weren't available before. So we have our fast AI, um, Keras, Keras GPU, um, Scikit packages are in here somewhere. So basically it just installed everything we need into the default ArcGIS Pro-Py3 library. And then you should be able to use these functions now inside of Arc, ArcGIS Pro desktop or like inside of a notebook running inside of this ArcGIS Pro Py3 environment. So let's look at that example quickly. Okay, so um, if I go down here to my program lists and then ArcGIS, ArcGIS installs with um, a Python installation, so it has its own little Python environment, and this is the default Python environment. So if I click on this notebook, it will go. It will run um, inside of that environment for us. Okay, so I'm just going to click on New and then Python 3. So this will create a notebook where we can run some Python 3 code and just to make sure that it's working correctly let's just do some imports so I'm going to do an import torch and then I'm going to do import fast AI and then if I execute that it'll run up here and tell you that it's executing it looks like it's it did that already okay so now I'm going to just use this function or I guess method from torch to see if it sees my GPU. So I'm going to do .cuda .device and then my first GPU, which is my only GPU because I have one in this machine. Actually, instead of doing that, let's just call the, let's get the actual name. It's a little bit easier to read. So get device name. Okay, GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. That's my graphics card. 
Okay, so it looks like this environment is set up. So it's actually pretty easy. You basically just have to download the, the your either 2.7 or 2.6 installer. I don't, I'm not sure about how to do it on the server. I've never done that. So you, you download that, uncompress it, run the installation, and then installs the packages that you need so you can use them in the ArcGIS Pro slash Pi 3 default environment or um, in, even inside the desktop software, which is effectively also using that environment. So um, just a quick note before we end, there are some requirements. So in order to run a uh, to ru to run deep learning, especially anything that uses like CNNs or convolutional neural networks, you're really going to have to have a GPU available to do that computation. So you can see here that they're recommending an NVIDIA CUDA compatible 3.5 minimum, 6.1 or higher recommended uh, GPU. So effectively, you need to have a decent NVIDIA graphics card to do the processing on. Um, and then minimum memory on the graphics card is 2 gigs, but it's recommended to have 8 gigs. The one that I have installed has 11 gigs. Um, I had an older graphics card before and actually would just run out of memory. So um, this isn't going to work on all computers. Okay, and then just before, and then also this arcgs.learn.module page um, provides some, just a little bigger here provides some documentation. So as you can see here, this ArcGIS.learn module provides a ton of functions and, and methods and tools to do deep learning. So we have options here for example, pixel classification with like UNET or Deep Lab. We have object detection with things like YOLO and FastRCNN, or sorry, MaskRCNN. Um, there's also tools here for like data prep and, and, and working in 3D space, like classifying a point cloud or something. Okay, so that's just a quick introduction on how to get your ArcGIS uh, Pro set up to do deep learning on a machine with a GPU.